Dave, is that one of your most favourite afternoons a part of Hartlepool United? It is for the first 85 minutes of it. Um, yeah, it was a, listen, a brilliant performance, a brilliant result. We, we spoke about what we need to do coming here on a sunny afternoon on a grassy pitch against a team that I haven't got a, like I say, a great deal to play for. It was about our, our attitude and, and intent. Um, and like I say, I, I thought we were we were unbelievably good. Um, the only like I say, disappointment and how you how you can be going home with a, a tinge of disappointment when you've scored seven is the is the last the last five minutes. Um, really disappointed in in us because um, we're better than that. Um, like you say, it's a lesson. Hopefully, it's not a harsh lesson in terms of goal difference or something coming the back end of the season. Does that just show the attitude of not just the squad but? The fact that we've scored seven, we're disappointing to to concede them too. But I can imagine the lads in there are absolutely buzzing with this afternoon. Yeah, they are. But even from them, it will be when you reflect on it, they'll be they'll be happy. But again, if I'm a defender and I'm a goalkeeper, I'm absolutely seething in there. Like I'm because if you've conceded the first, again, it's just the way for we If you've conceded the, 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 the two goals early on and you're 2-0 down and you come back and score seven and win 7-2, it's a different game. When you've been 7-0 up and so dominant and as good as we've been defensively as well, to concede, like I say, in, in the manner at which we did, not like we're going gung-ho to go and score more goals. We remained on the front foot. We could have had a lot more than, than we did. Poor from, from Jamie and, and Ball gets, again, gives the, gives the ball away and a goal and then don't defend the free kick. Now, from their perspective, you look at it and say, "Oh, they're two decent finishes," um, but we're always going to be critical um, because a great result was coming in and winning. A great result would have been coming in and winning one nil, two nil, whatever it would be. Um, an unbelievable result would have been winning seven nil. It's still a really good, like I say, really good winning seven two. Um, but seven nil would have been a um, hundred times better. Just going back to the game, Luke Armstrong dropped to the bench for the first time since he's joined Hartley Poland. Richie Bennett and Orts playing up there together for the first time, but they, they look like they've played with each other their whole career. Yeah, I think what, what having like I say, what having Ben Owen has done has allowed us to do that. Um, and we've looked at uh, Luke and he's been the focal point and I spoke to him before and this morning a little bit. Um, in the fact that he's going to be massively important for us to, to, to get up to, to do what we're going to achieve this year uh, and we need his goals and we've not had a chance to, to take him out um, and again even now study I'm, I've no idea what's happening next weekend whether we're playing Weymouth or not playing Weymouth but if we're not and I suppose that's what potentially we plan for leaving Luke out today and giving him some rest allows us probably us to get ten days maybe into him where he just has a little bit of a little bit of downtime allows him to mentally sort of switch off a little bit um, because like I say he's hugely important probably the most important player that we're going to have moving forward in terms of um, him being able to get back on the back on the goal trail for us and be um, and work in a partnership with whoever is on the top end of the pitch so Richie being and allowed us to do that today again it's worked out worked out great there was always I suppose a, a slight risking it by leaving your top scorer out but uh, thankfully um, it's it's win-win in all those all those scenarios. And just a word about Richie getting his hat trick he, he, was, he was claiming that Shelton goal as well but what an afternoon for him and when, when we got that second penalty and it looks like Fez was going to take it did you have any say in, in Richie just take the ball off him and grab yeah, it? I think listen I think that I'm not a um, I'm not a big one in I suppose sentimentality of people um, switching penalty takers and, and things like that when we've got the first one to be fair fair the walks up takes it takes it brilliantly um, and it was brilliant when the second one happened when you've had a second then and with the scoreline as it is yeah we were shouting for Richie to Richie to take it um, you don't often get chances to score to score hat tricks at any level of football so um, to be able to do it like say, at this level on the back of a really good win is, is, is great for him um, there, the ball will be signed by the lads and, and something that will live with him for the rest of his life. Stay at top of the National League and, and what a way to do it. How how much do you need to do to make sure the lads, I know you've been telling the lads every week that we won't get too far ahead of ourselves because there's still plenty of games to play as well. Oh, listen, what more motivation do you need? You sat top, why, why would you not want to um, continue to, to be there to shot at, uh, to be shot at rather? Um, we were sat top after three games. Um, we've then 
dropped away a little bit and all of a sudden we find ourselves from our perspective sat top with six, six games to go it's a great position to be in um, and if the next game we play we are still tap, sat top then brilliant it's great motivation to make sure you um, you consolidate that position don't let anyone overtake you um, not something that we're um, shying away from and, and, and afraid of it's where it's where we want to be um, depending on what happens we have a like I say we have a little bit of time now potentially um, to focus on Getting people, um, getting people right, and make sure we go into the the, the bank holiday weekend in, in really good shape. With, like I say, two difficult fixtures um, over a, over a Saturday Monday weekend, which is a big ask in any circumstances against teams that are, uh, are sort of in the in the mix. Just finally, what does a sunny Saturday now? We've won seven two in, in for Dave Turner. A long bus trip home. Um, it's, it's strange, obviously, kicking off early um, with obviously the. the, the the funeral and the stuff happening happening today, but but for us it's it's back on the bus, get home a little bit earlier than normal. Um, I suppose as with all the, the players, hopefully we'll get some time to, to spend with with families and crack um, open a beer and friends. Yeah, there's obviously always <laughs> going to be a, a few beers um, a beers involved. I'll have to see if Joe can do my driving home. Um, <laughs> but listen, you've got to enjoy enjoy the moments, enjoy where where we're at. Hopefully, like I say, the people at home. Um, that's a more Comfortable afternoon, shall we say, than sitting on the edge of your seat, hoping that or counting down the um, the injury time minutes has been the case probably too often this season. Dave, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you.